Hello, hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. Let's get started with your messages for the week of 22nd until the 29th of July, starting with the present position, and then we go further into the reading and the messages. Eight of Pentacles in the present. What is crossing is Six of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. The number eight is all about manifestations. So someone could be uh, manifesting here in the form of research or searching or some kind of research or someone could be looking for you or watching you. Uh, the Six of Pentacles upright is about that balance give and take and it can also point towards situations that have breadcrumbed or that have wanted to breadcrumb it's like take little and there's that thing of holding on to the energy so something may have held on to your energy or and now you have released this so there could be something coming up this week regarding this eight and six is fourteen that is temperance energy. Okay, something about grace. Grace and flow. In the past, the full. Talk about grace and flow. The full is um, Uranus. Air. So there could be an influence of Uranus or like someone could have wanted you or a situation could have pushed you to to want to do something or to go out of your way to do something and then you you have victory with this whatever this is you it's like you 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 slow down you see the eight of pentacles is looking at the details of a situation it's like while they were looking for you to do something you also were guided to slow down in order to pay attention to the details it could be as easy as like sending a message or an email this is a lot to do with work so this could even be a workplace situation but whoever this is, they wanted you to, like, beg. Oh, okay. At the root area, page of cups. There could be a young person in terms of age, spirituality. Page of cups is water. It's also a court card. So this is someone who brings news. So there could be a love connection as well. Ace of Pentacles at the crown area. Feels like an outlet. A portal that opens up. You've been getting the Ace of Pentacles for some time. Eight. 14 15 so something about the full moon in capricorn is opening the path forward for you regarding creativity there's a kind of outlet that you may have a creative outlet in the near future ten of pentacles so you're stepping into like a, it could be a collaborative effort a lot of pentacles, a lot of ground energy for you. Hmm. And I see Virgo, Taurus, and then this is Virgo as well. So this is Earth energy. I'm seeing that Mother Earth is working with you. Mother Earth is... You could have a mother figure. This person could be Gemini, could be an Earth sign. This person doesn't have to be in this physical realm. But there's someone who is protecting you. Yeah, they want you to know that they're protecting you even in the below. All right, they love you. Uh, this doesn't have to apply to everyone, but I'm picking up a lot of like ground energy for you. This person is opening 
portals for you um, yeah there's something about portals in the above because there have been situations that wanted you to just like this is a codependent situation so you may be healing codependency um, and it's not an easy journey healing codependency because there's a chance to you know to jump into situations and this person is helping you to and I'm not getting just one person they want you to know that they love you okay they're helping you to make those decisions that are coming from a grounded place and that is the lover's card which is your card Gemini a lot to do with Venus so this may be a divine feminine yeah I'm getting a divine feminine here who is with you Wow I actually feel emotional with this energy because they're vo they're working very hard to protect you I'm getting this song uh, uh, you're a sky full of stars uh, by Coldplay I feel like a lot of songs from Coldplay talk about like past unloved ones for some reason okay so let's see the approach is nine of pentacles so you're in this abundant wealth a lot of virgo energy so you could have virgo in your chart or this person could be a virgo as well and outside influences the chariot virgo is also mother earth so i feel like there's something to do with your connection with mother earth perhaps it's the venus energy that i'm picking up you could apply this as well the chariot is outside influences so there could be a car or something to do with travel does feel like you're on the road to success wherever this is that was blocked for you you would have jumped in the past or you would have made a move or you would have yeah you would have gone out of your way to do something but it didn't happen it missed you it was an attack that that missed you you may have picked up on this but then you may have felt some kind of hovering energy over you like a kind of monitoring like wow someone has been monitoring you all right these are beyond monitoring spirits these are like people who have been sent to monitor you they may have been in a car or you may see them in a car they're watching you they're watching you operate from the heart to do something from the heart and to these people they're, they're like they're wondering they could be wondering about something to do with your finances for the area of hopes and fears the lovers there we go there you are showing up in hopes and fears talk about <laughs> hopes and fears and we have the lovers what explains hopes and fears better than the lovers because it's all about like weighing pros and cons in situations and the archangel is there like overseeing everything so yeah this person is acting and when i if you see the song uh, your sky full of stars it's it shows someone in a very colorful there are some colorful lights so this is how they show up in my vision i'm also getting something to do with dreams right but they want you to know that they are here with you this archangel so it could be archangel raphael and archangel raphael could be the knight of swords which is your energy air so yeah there's a protection here whatever portal you're going through here it's um it's a lot of success it's a lot of abundance doesn't mean there won't be mountains you see that mountain it shows like obstacles that can come up but it does look really good as regards external influences it's like you are definitely taking a more grounded approach it doesn't have to be that you were not it's just really a process but it feels really grounded and you have external support 
most times when we're talking about external influences yeah these forces can come up but the whole of this reading is talking about the support that you have for the outcome the hierophant so here you are again this the lovers there could be a love connection that is coming together um this could be a twin flame connection and this hierophant there could be some marriage going on whether it's a commitment like a marriage between two people or it could be you changing your commitments like your change of commitment is becoming more set in stone but it does look like a big change so whether it's your spiritual journey but whatever this is required like a breakdown completely of something that was old and a rebuild of something new eight of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah i feel like with all of this there's something about the full energy and eight of swords i feel like this person is seen as the fool or they may be seeing themselves as a fool for what they did someone tried to stop you from on, on your path they try to cause you blockage and you may have picked that up in your work sometimes the eight of swords can come for example you see the eight of swords and you're just like that is the eight of swords you're just seeing a card right and this is what i'm picking up there could be something that try to block your creativity what is this three of wands you were not looking oh, excuse me what is the ace of pentacles <clears throat> your guides want you to not so much thank them but there's something about gratitude all right they want you to be in a like a, more in a state of gratitude because it will continue to take you further you should continue to hold space for what it is that is for you and release whatever is is there to sabotage your path and you will only continue to use whatever was meant to sabotage you to build you up ace of pentacles is the star aquarius energy a lot to do with purples shining oh you're you're shining you're a ooh. You're a sky full of stars. I'm going to listen to that song after. Three of swords. Yeah, someone is not happy here. You could also be having like heart opening experiences with the star. Three of swords. It does come with release of emotions. I see the three of swords as a very good thing because as you're releasing, you're also re liberating yourself. Um, even with the eight of swords energy is like whenever one is in the eight of swords you were being guided to step back and there's something that needs releasing that is a signal to say there's something that needs releasing is a kind of emotional tie or something that tried to tie you up and now you're being released three of wands again this was hiding in this deck and it's back again so the doors are opening for you congratulations on this whatever it is that was there to tie you down it's moving away and what we continue to do is understand that these energies will still be there sometimes they will go back in to change um, strategy to change the way they do things because you were a vessel you know you were that container they used to take out of now they don't have access and do you think some a lot of them will not let you go that easy because they're watching it's like predators that you're walking in front of and they will definitely want to come if they can't they, they want to come towards the one that has the most uh potential or that has the most light secondly what i want to say is the reason i didn't use predator and prey is because you're not a prey at some point they may have seen you as a prey but what, what we get to understand 
in these situations when you're coming out of it is to step up as both the predator, the prey, and the divine coming together, right? This way, you're walking on your lane and you're like, keep walking on your lane and let it be that the last, the time you come to me will be the last you go to any other person. Let it stop here. You know, that kind of thing. So you're both the predator, the prey, and the divine. And that is a powerful place to be in. That is the three of wands. And then you, you're attracting those energies. So if there was, for example, an, a kind of a lack of lack of clarity with a situation, a love connection, whatever kind of situation, that clarity will come because they will naturally align with you at the place that you are in. Wow. Sun, enjoy success and happiness. You could be a divine masculine energy, a divine feminine who is aligning with the divine masculine. I see warrior, be fearless and strong. Feel like you're definitely shining here. A lot of healing going on, no doubt, but it's a good one. Not but and is a good one. One three six nineteen. You could be seeing nineteen nineteen seventeen seventeen. I see six six as well. Know that doors are opening for you. Follow up new projects, ventures, and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. You're being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. Opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling and dancing around you. Relationships and friendships progress with joy and you will feel happy and uplifted. If you're not somewhere bright and sunny right now, there will be other ways in which you can enjoy warmth and joy. Solar energy brings health and vitality and can energize and warm and it also encourages everything to grow. The energy of expansion is with you at this time and you're being offered the perfect opportunity to move forward. If you want to bring something to life or are ready to take a new step in a relationship, the sun will bring the right energy to you. If you're asking a question, the answer is most definitely yes. Before I round up, I'm just going to mention this is Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. And this is more of Uranus. So there could be something about your leap. You could be taking a leap towards something new. Could be a relationship, could be a new kind of commitment on your spiritual journey as a teacher. Or oh, all of the above. All right, Gemini, I'm going to stop here for now. I wish you a blessed week. I'll come back with more videos. Bye-bye.